Yo, what's up guys? Mark here. Today we're outside and we're going fishing. First vid of 2023. When y'all think of winter fishing, what fish do y'all think of? Rainbow trout, right? So today we pulled up to North Georgia, about two hours from me, and we're gonna try to catch some rainbow trout. I've never caught rainbow trout before. I've tried many times, failed every time. And rainbow trout are really, really good. Freaking delicious, but it's been a fail every time. But today we're gonna try to change that. We pulled up to Smith Creek. It's a popular trout fishing creek. It just rained a lot, so the water's kind of murky, but there should be some trout in here. Someone's line got stuck in the tree. And today we're using my dig, my Shakespeare rod with a split shot and an Aberdeen hook. And for bait, we're just gonna use some night crawlers. All right, let's get some trout. Oh, guys, I think we got some. Oh, no, just a snag. Oh, well, we definitely just had a bite just now. So I got to aim over there. We're gonna aim right here. Oh, snagged in a tree already. Give it back. Nope, I think this one's stuck. Yep. All right, let's move on. All right, now we pull up to the lake. That Smith Creek I was on before, it's a long creek. And then it pulls up into this beautiful Unicoi Lake. It's a pretty small lake. And then there's that bridge over there. And there's a dam. And then the Smith Creek continues on. First, we're going to try this spinner right here. Spinners are apparently really good for catching trout. I mean, I wouldn't, I've never caught one, but it's supposed to be good for catching all sorts of stuff. Just cast and reel. Yo, guys, we already got a fish. We already got something right away. Oh, let's go. We got a on the spinner. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. That was way quicker than I expected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Wow, check that out. Largemouth bass. On the third, second or third cast. Nice largemouth bass. Probably about, I mean, it's pretty, I'd say about a foot, foot or so. Oh! Victory scream feels so good. Fishing is so fun, especially when you catch fish. Wow. What a beautiful fish. That is crazy. Well, I'm gonna keep this one for now, just in case we don't catch anything. Yeah, bye. Oosh. Okay. One fish. Well, I was not expecting that. Third cast, just right over there. I couldn't even believe it. 
Wow, let's go. Well, there you go, spinners work. That's probably the first time I ever caught something on a spinner as well. It was right over there by that log. Let's try over here. This might be my second time eating bass. I had done a largemouth bass video before where I went to the store and bought one. And those ones are like raised in really clean water. So today I'll be able to do a, like a wild largemouth bass comparison. If I don't catch any rainbow trout. I don't know, we'll see. All right, we're gonna put, I brought a bunch of rods. So we're gonna get some out there with some bait. So this one, we're gonna put a worm. I think there's a little less current over here. Put a little bell on it as well. All right, now we got my ugly stick. We're gonna be putting a one eighth ounce jig head on it. It's getting kind of cold now. It's getting darker. It's probably about, what time is it? About 5.15. I'm gonna keep trying to catch a trout, but we'll see. Stay out here until it gets dark. All right, got a jig head on. And we're gonna be putting one of these. All right, let's give this a couple casts. Try over here, in that dock. All right, today's Japanese word of the day is Mizumi. Mizumi. Mizumi means lake. You could say Mizumi de tsuri o suru to go fishing at the lake. Or you could say Mizumi ni imasu. I'm at the lake. By the way, how was y'all's New Year's? I had work the next morning, so I ended up going to bed right at 12. But yeah, guys, Happy New Year. Dang, look at the moon. Peeking right over there, above the trees. Probably doesn't do it too much justice on the camera, but dang. That is awesome. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, we, the worm we left out is getting a bite right now. Let's see what's on the other side. Eh? No way. Whatever was on just came off. 100%. Wow, that sucks. Maybe I set the hook too hard. Dang, that sucks. I almost wanna, I guess, yeah, let's put another worm on and wait. It was definitely getting a bite. Okay. Take this one off. All right. Let's see what what's a worm. Put a bell. And now we wait. 
Damn, I wonder what that was before. I just spent freaking 45 minutes over there fishing on that dock and I come back and this was getting hit. Yeah, I was, I was ready to pack up and go home after that one, but that just gave me a little bit of hope. A little split shot. All right, the last worm. All right, we're gonna put this one over there. Loosen up the drag a bit. And now we got two worms out. All right, now we wait. Dang, guys, check that out. There's a bunch of bait fish. Look, 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 look. See all those bait fish? Dang, they're re relatively big, too. Dang, those are some big... Maybe those are some creek chubs? Because those are decently big. Do y'all see those? Whoa, they're everywhere. All right, my phone had died, but we didn't catch anything. Today, we just got... This largemouth bass. Beautiful fish. Not a trout, but better than nothing. All right, we got food. Time to go. Oh! I messed up. Time to go back to the hideout. Shit, 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 no shit. All right, we're back at the crib. Today we got largemouth bass. It's about, about 11 inches. Yeah, so not super big, but not super small. Definitely one of the bigger bass I've caught. All right, first things first, we're gonna put them out. So the fastest way to put a fish out is the Ikejime method, where basically you're gonna stab them in the brain and that's just gonna be an instant, instant death. You could also knock them out, but this is a quicker way to do it. So you wanna take something sharp and come behind the eyes right here and then just go right through it. All right, really quick, fast death. They're still gonna move because the nerves are still alive, but the fish is brain dead. All right, next, you're gonna cut the gills. Gonna put them in here, just move them back and forth. All right, next, we're gonna gut them. Just come right through the butthole and snip up. We'll grab them. Pull the gills as well. おすおすおすおす。久しぶりだね。お前内臓食べるか内臓。ほら。ほら。食べる食べるかなお母さんもいる。あれは興味ないか。お母さんが食べたいんだね。じゃ、これも。やっぱ内臓よりもちゃんとしたご飯の方が美味しいか。ほら、もう一つある。おお、喧嘩しなくていいよ。もう一つあるから。どうぞどうぞ。やっぱ内臓は食べたくないのね。やっぱちゃんと
Just rub the salt around. Also be careful not to prick yourself. All right, got the bass nice and clean. So I had mentioned this before in the other largemouth bass video. The bass have this fat right here, a little layer of fat. And it's when the fish is bigger, the, the how much fat they got on their belly is a little bit more. But since this is a small one, there's not too much. But this fat stinks for the most part, especially with wild bass. This fat is stinky. So you want to take your scaler and try to get this off. This one's really small, so I don't think it'll be too big of a deal anyway, but just take it off anyways. In Japanese, you say kusai. This fat is kusai, it stinks. Okay, so today with this largemouth bass, we're making some shioyaki. So basically, we're just gonna put salt on it and grill it whole. It's a very simple but delicious way to enjoy fish. So yeah, today we're not gonna fillet it. We're just gonna put Two cuts in it. And that's that. Make the fire. I'm making a fire. Right, first, we're gonna put a little bit of oil just to keep it from sticking on the grill. Get it nice and coated. Uh, next, we're going to put some dim, some Himalayan salt. And you also want to get on the inside, too. Alrighty. Just like that. It's perfect size, fits perfectly. Alright, while that's cooking, we're going to make some ponzu sauce. We're gonna get some soy sauce, some lemon juice. By the way, it says best used by December 17th, 2022. It's 2023 now, but I think it'd be straight. And then last, some vinegar. Just a little dab. Mix it up. See a little taste. Good. All right. Let's flip it. All right, looking nice and brown. Okay, all right, this is done. Let's eat. All right, we got this large mouth bass, shioyaki. All right, get a piece from the back right here. That oh, was relatively hard. Okay, all right, right here. Mmm, dang, that is buttery. That is buttery. Very flaky, flaky meat. Wow, that is good. Not dry at all, very buttery. Like, packing flavor and packing fat. Mmm, I knew this was, this was a perfect size for grilling whole. You get a lot of good meat. All right, let's try this belly right here. This might be kind of fishy. We'll see. Mmm, not really. Definitely oily. Nope, the belly is totally fine too. Mmm, wow, this is an A+. Plus. You just got to be able to eat around the bones, but. All right, 
a big piece of belly meat right here. Mmm. Anyone that says bass aren't good, maybe it's because the water isn't super nice. Because if it comes from clean water, it is delicious. All right, let's flip it. Boom. Ooh, just like before. All right, got my friend Pia here. She's gonna give it a try. Yep, there you go. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good? Mm-hmm. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. I knew it would be. That large mouth bass. Compares, this is wild caught. The other one we had was farm raised. This is caught in a lake. So I was thinking it might be kind of like stinky flavor, but not really, right? It's like, it's like yeah. just, just straight white meat. Like it could be like high quality. Like it could be like, like an expensive type fish. So would you say it tastes better than the one we had last time? Hmm, trying to think. We had alligator last time? We had alligator last time, but then the time before that we had bass. And remember it was non bazooka, so it was like... Oh yeah. It had a bunch of garlic, not garlic, ginger, mm -hmm. and other stuff on it. Let me try this sauce. All right, so we got the ponzu sauce. Okay. Yeah. Um. Not the one in the sauce though, but just like you tried it also raw too. Yeah. I'd but just like from like a, what does it taste like? Really good. It tastes like white meat. Very. It's like it mild, but it's not mild. Mild. It tastes like fish, but like it tastes like, like kind of like trout. Like trout. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like trout. All right. We're gonna give it a go with some of the ponzu sauce. It does fall apart. It's got that. Mmm. That plunger sauce hit. This is the belly right here. So this one. But that should be good. All right, there you go. You got a big piece right there. Fatty. That's what I was looking for this whole time. Oh. Oh. You're there you grab it, folks. There you, oh, go, there, there, you go, go. there you go. There you go. There you go. Get this spin off. Oh, there you go. No bones. No bones. Mmm. Very good. Good? Mm-hmm. Fatty? Yeah. That was a good piece. All right, after finishing the meal. Then, Crystal Nets. You first. Confident. Oh, so good. The wild caught largemouth bass. That was good. I mean, that water where I caught it, the water was really clean. But still, I was thinking like it might taste a little stinky, but nope, no, nope, not stinky at all. Really good flavor. So yeah, next time you catch a bass, if it's not super big, just grill it whole, shioyaki style. Just put some some oil, some salt, just grill it up, and eat it like that, and it was really good. Let me know in the comments if y'all have had largemouth bass before. What y'all think of it? Check on my Patreon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!